Hi, my name's Marie and I'm the Deputy Manager of the Small Animal Department at Wood Green Animal Shelters. Today I'm going to show you how to make treats for your rabbits. As you can see here, we've got all sorts of garden treats. Um, it's really a good idea to keep your rabbits diet as natural as possible. So, colourful treats, treats filled with all sorts of sugary and uh, caramel sort of types are really not healthy for them. Another form of treat which is also seen as a diet is also the muesli type feeds. These are filled with all sorts of peas and cereal mix and these really are not good for your rabbit's teeth. They are really soft and they don't wear down their rabbit's teeth. The best type of mix that you can add into your rabbit's treats would be a dry pellet feed. This doesn't look very exciting but it's got everything they need in it and it keeps their teeth in great condition. So there's all sorts of objects that you could use to make your rabbit's treats fun and interesting. Keep them entertained, keep them busy and also it's a great way for the family to keep active on a rainy day. So firstly we could use treats and stuff them into things like toilet rolls. So the best way to do this is you can use all sorts of willow um, sticks, apple twiglets as well. So what you can do is pop a couple of these into your toilet rolls. Pop a bit of hay in there just to hold it out. And then you could use something like wild geranium from your garden. We've even got a bit of mint here as well. So we can stuff them in and then the rabbits can roll that around and keep trying to pull it out. So, what I'm going to do is pop this in with the rabbits here and then they can investigate that in a little bit. Another good thing you could do is actually dry out some treats for them. So you can use things like stinging nettles and even rose petal leaves and mint and also lemon balm from your garden. So what you can do is pop out into your garden, collect some old roses and just pop off the leaves and just sprinkle them along on a little form. Then what you can do is get some mint, some lemon balm and you just want small amounts. Things like strawberry leaves and blackberry leaves are brilliant for their digestive systems. Leave them out for a couple of days and every day just turn them over until they're nice and dry and crispy. With the singing nettles the best idea is to hang them up and leave them for about a week to dry till they go nice and dry and crispy. That way the sting goes and rabbits love nibbling off them so you can hang them in the run. So once you've done this what you can do is get a paper bag so any small brown paper bags are fantastic. They love rummaging around in them and it's safe for them to chew on as well. So again, stuff that with hay and then you can pop all these little treats in there. You could even get some of their diet. So come away from the bowl and pop the food in there instead of a bowl. Rustle that all around and then the rabbits will love jumping in and out of that and chewing the bag and finding their food and that really mimics what they would be doing in the wild. They'd be rummaging, they'd be rustling through the food and foraging and grazing on all the different types of plants that are available. Another idea would also be a garden hanging basket. Rabbits love these. What you can do is absolutely stuff these with hay. And then again, get all sorts of different herbs that you've got collected from the garden. So here, again, I've got some lemon balm. We've even got a few blackberry um, thorns as well. So just pop them in there. The thorns are fine, as long as they've got all the leaves sticking out, the rabbits will work out between them. So stuff them in, pop a few more dried treats in there, and you can hang them up in the garden and in the run, and they will love chewing that and pulling it all down through. It's important to remember that if you are going to hang this in the run, that you do completely fill it with the hay so that the rabbits can't get their legs stuck because they do often love jumping in there and swinging around while they're munching on there. But again, that would mimic what they'd be doing in the wild by reaching up and pulling down foods from the hedgerows. Lastly, a great way to get your rabbit healthy when he's taking his food. Try to come away from the old tradition of a food bowl and think about how it's going to keep them active. A rabbit treat ball is a fantastic way of keeping them active, keeping them busy and keeping them thinking about what they want to look for. So all you want to do is get their rabbit food, pop it in there 
and then you can just pop it onto the half turn and pop that in there and the rabbits will roll it all around and the food will come out and they love that and they keep them busy for hours. Again all of these ideas are really fun ideas for the rabbits and a great way for the family to interact and keep busy and have fun on a rainy day.